Hallelujah. Come on, let's put some worship in the atmosphere this morning. This afternoon, hallelujah. God is so good, hallelujah. He's so faithful, hallelujah. He's wonderful, hallelujah. He's mighty, he's awesome, hallelujah. And he's so much more, hallelujah. And we just come to give him praise this afternoon, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all a little bit too quiet for me this afternoon. Come on. This is the day, hallelujah. God, we just thank you because you are a great God. Hallelujah. God, thank you because you are our healer. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, because you are our provider. Hallelujah. The sustainer of our hearts. Hallelujah. The keeper of our minds. God, we just thank you and bless you this afternoon, God. Hallelujah. Because you are a wonderful counselor. Hallelujah. You are a mighty God. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. That you are our protector, God. Hallelujah. You kept us, God. Hallelujah. And today, God, we just come to simply tell you thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
scripture reading will be coming from 1 Peter, 1 chapter 3 through 9, and it reads, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. And all this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. Right. These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith yeah. of greater worth than gold, which perishes even through, even though refined by fire, yeah. may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Yeah. Though you have not seen him, you love him. Yeah. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him yeah. and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. Yeah. For you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Yes. I've read to you 1 Peter, 1 chapter, verses 3 through 9. May the Lord have a blessing on the hearer and the reader and the doer of his word. Yes. May we go to our God in prayer. Yes. Dear most gracious and eternal Father, Lord, we just come to simply tell you, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for being the God of all, the God who sees all, hallelujah, the God who knows all, God. We thank you, God, for being mighty, hallelujah, for being sovereign, God, hallelujah. We thank you for just being a great God, hallelujah, the God that looks beyond our faults, and the God that sees and provides all our needs. God, we just come again, God, just to tell you thank you, God, thank you, God. for another opportunity, God, to come into your house, God, to worship God, to magnify God, to lift you up, God, and exalt your holy name, God. God, we just come to tell you thank you, God. Thank you, God, for meeting us here in this place, God, one more time, God. Thank you, God, that your presence, God, was felt, God, when we entered into this holy place, God. Thank you, God, for raining, your, raining down on us, God. Thank you, God, that your glory cloud fills this temple, God. Thank you, God, that your glory saturates this place, God. We thank you, God, that we can feel your power, God, in this place, God. Thank you, God, hallelujah, for never leaving us, God. Thank you, God, for always being there, God. Yes. Thank you, God, for always holding our hands, God. Thank you, God, for always leading us, God, and directing us, God, on the right path, God. God, we just thank you, God. We ask you, God, just to have your way in this service today, God. Do what only you can do, God. Move by your spirit, God. Hallelujah. Move by your power, God. Hallelujah. God, we're coming, God, today, God, because some of us need to be healed, God. Hallelujah. And the healer is here, God. Hallelujah. Some of us need to be delivered, God. And the deliverer is here, God. Some of us need to be set free, God. And you are the only one that can set us free, God. And God, we just come to tell you thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, God, that you love us, God. Hallelujah. In spite of our mistakes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for correcting us, God, when we're wrong, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, that you love us, God. Hallelujah. With an everlasting love, God. Thank you, God, that you love us unconditionally, God. Thank you, God, that you love us enough, God, that you gave up your only son, God, to die for our sins, God. Hallelujah. God, he was hung on the cross, God. Nails in his hands, God. Nails in his feet, God. Thrown, thrown on his head, God. Hallelujah. Pierced in the side, God. And shed his precious blood, God, just for us, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for the blood, God. Hallelujah. That gives us strength when we're weak, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for the blood, God, that gives us power, God. Each and every day, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for the blood, God, that washes away, God. 
each and every one of our sins, God. Thank you for the blood that cleanses us, God. Hallelujah. The blood that restores, God. The blood that has broken the chains of bondage, God. The blood that has set us free, God. The blood is a symbol, God, and reminder of your love for us, God. Thank you for the precious blood, God. Hallelujah. That gives us an opportunity, God, to worship God in your name, God. To lift up our voice in your name, God. To praise God in your name. Thank you for the blood, God. Hallelujah. That washes us white as snow. Thank you for the blood, God. Hallelujah. That protects us, God, from day to day, God. Thank you for the blood, God. Hallelujah. The precious blood, God. The sweet blood, God. Hallelujah. God, we bless your name today, God. We thank you for the preacher, God, that's in the building this afternoon, God. Hallelujah. Touch him, God. Hallelujah. Use him, God. Hallelujah. To give us, God, what we need to hear, oh, God. Touch him, God, and keep him, God, covered from the crown of his head, God, to the soles of his feet, God. Hallelujah. We bind the enemy right now in the name of Jesus, God. Hallelujah. That nothing, God, can touch him right now in the name of Jesus, God. Protect him, God. Hallelujah. Protect his family, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for his willingness, God, his obedience, God. Hallelujah to the Spirit, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for his kingdom work, God. Hallelujah. And we bless your name, God. Hallelujah. God, we love you today, God. We honor you today, God, and we bless your holy name, God. These and all of the things we ask in our darling son, Jesus' name, we pray and we thank God. Hallelujah and amen.
Hallelujah. Our God is awesome. We serve an awesome God. God who, uh, again, looked beyond our faults and saw our needs and decided that he would come from glory, come and dwell among us, and that he would give his only begotten son, Jesus, to come for us, to live and to die. Show us again how to return to the Father. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. Think about the blood that was shed just for you and for me over 2,000 years ago. Why don't you look at your neighbor and say, the blood still works? Yeah, it still works. After 2,000 years, it still got power. It still reaches to the lowest valley. Still will reach to the highest mountain. Hallelujah. Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm grateful today. I'm grateful that our awesome God was willing to give his only begotten son and, then, and our own, and his only begotten son was willing to give his life for you and for me. Yeah, we thank God for the blood that was shed for you and for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're so glad again to have each of you here with us today. Amen, amen. This good Friday, God has blessed us again to come to the house of God, to come to his house and to worship him in the beauty of holiness. We're so grateful to welcome those who are watching by Facebook and social media. While you're while I'm on that subject, hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the share button, let somebody know that we are on. Amen. For those who may be watching now, and then those who shall watch later, welcome again to Riverview Community Church. Amen. We call ourselves The View. Amen. The View. Not because we're in Riverview neighborhood, but because we want to lift up Jesus yeah. Yeah. all the sea. We want it to be in your view, him high and lifted up. He says, for if I be lifted, I'll draw all men all unto me. And so that's our goal again. Every time we open the doors, every time we walk through the doors, we come to lift them up. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We're so grateful again to have our friends with us, River of Life Church. Yeah. Pastor Herbert Jackson in the house. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We're so grateful again uh, for the friendship and fellowship. Yeah. That God has built between us. And we come today again to lift them up together to celebrate. Yes. I, I just I know it does God good to see his children come together and celebrate. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. I know it does be good when I see my children all gather together in one place, getting along, having fun, yes. lifting up the name yes. of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. And so today, again, we come to celebrate this uh, third day of revival. We were blessed on Wednesday night in the midst of a storm, in the midst of tornado warnings and all kinds of sirens going off. We were blessed again to have uh, the tool of social media, yes. Facebook, to be able to use technology to be able to share the great gospel of Jesus Christ. And so Bishop Althea Green again blessed us and Brother Terry Thomas again blessed us with his gift again to be able to put us in the same space and for it to be able to go all over the world. Amen. 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 So we give God glory for technology. Amen. And we thank God again that on last night we were able to come together and be live and in person and then send it out yeah, yeah. via social media with Pastor Tim Jackson. Amen. And Hope Fellowship Church. Amen. Listen, both of those messages are on our uh, on Facebook, but they are also going to be on our website, 
So please go back and listen to those messages. In this revival is for God's people. In the midst of this pandemic, we faced a whole lot of crazy things that have gone on, some traumatic things that have gone on, and then life just general continues to happen. But in the midst of the pandemic, I just, God said, hey, have a revival during Holy Week. That we might again return back to him and see him again high yeah. and lifted up. Yeah. And understand again that there is power, there is power. in the blood. Yeah. Yeah. And so whatever it is we're going through, yeah. it's going to be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And so I pray again that you have received some hope in the midst of us coming together. Yeah, yeah. And today, put your seatbelt up. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Minister Brown has already again gotten us off the ground. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And so we're, 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 we're ready to go higher. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Listen, I want to pray again today. I want you to be praying for my sister-in-law, Sister Helen Smith, who will have surgery today at right. 2 o'clock on her right. heart. Right. Right. I want you to pray for her and pray for the family yes. again. Yes. Increase our faith. Yes. Increase her faith. Yes. Show the doctors what to do. Yes. That's my prayer. Show them what to do. But again, help us again to remember who is the real doctor. Yes. Yes. Who can heal who can deliver? Amen. So we pray for Helen today. And we pray also again for Brother AJ, who is here in the house with us. Amen. Amen. AJ has a testimony, has a testimony, has a testimony. Lost his mother, lost his father, was seriously in the hospital himself. And now he's walking and talking. And he's here in the house. But the enemy keeps on trying to test. And so AJ this week lost his grandfather and his grandmother. Within 72 hours of each other. But we know again, our God is able. Amen. He's able to lift a bow down head and a broken heart. He's able to mend. And I, I, I get I get encouragement from AJ because still to be able to put one foot in front of the other and then declare I'm coming to the house anyway. I get encouragement from that. And some of us we just take things for granted. We don't know what's around the corner. And I want us again to continue to lift them up. Amen. And lift that family up. And so we lift up all of those who are bereaved and those who are sick and those who are broken, those who are going through all types of tests and trials. We lift them up today. Ask God again to heal, deliver, and set free. Yes, Lord. Just join me just for a few moments in prayer. God, we thank you again for what you have done. And God, we know you don't make any mistakes. But that all things are working together for our good. Even when it doesn't feel good and it doesn't look good. God, we know again you are sitting on the throne and you are doing what you do. You are being God. And so God, we pray again that you increase Brother AJ's faith. Help him again. Know he wants to make sense of it, God. But again, help us. Yeah. Help him yeah. again to understand again that you are in control yeah. and you have the last word. Yeah. God, I pray right now for Sister Helen, God, that you would again touch the doctors, guide the knife, give the anesthesia, God, the proper dosage, God. Let them do all things excellent today like they've never done before. God, that again, that she might walk out of that hospital with a testimony, God, of you healing and delivering her, God, by means of medicine. Do it, God, for her right now. And bless the family, God. 
those daughters and sons and sisters and brothers, God, who are concerned about the loved one, touch them right now. Lift up their head, God, and give them the faith that they need. Bless my wife, God, that she again would be the vessel, God, that you you raised for such a time as this, God, for her again to be able to speak yes. and to show her strength yes. in her family, God. God, we love you. We give you glory today. We thank you again for those who have come, God. And there's some who are even among us who are sick right now. Some who are broken right now. Some who are tired right now. Some who want to give in right now, God. But you have blessed them and brought them to your house one more time. So we pray again for them. And we ask you to touch like only you can. Deliver like only you can. It's in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. And God, we pray now also, God, for this man of God. As he comes to bring your word today, God. Lord, him down into the deep treasures of your word, God. Allow him to speak with power and authority, God. Increase his faith, his confidence, God. Help him to know again that you're standing right there and you're ready to be all that he needs. You just surrender to you, God. And so we thank you right now. And God, we bless you right now for those who are giving in the offering, God, in the giving of their gifts, their tithes their offering we ask you right now to bless them like only you can open up the windows of heaven pour them out blessings that they won't have room enough to receive God we thank you for what you've done here at Riverview and what you've done at River of Life Church bless us in Jesus name we pray people God say amen 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 amen, amen. Listen, I want you to get a gift in your hands. The Bible says in Exodus that we should never come before the Lord empty handed. So get you a gift in your hand that we might again bless the Lord. We're so grateful again for all of those who have been given. You know, I, I love technology because I have some folks who I think, I think they set it on autopilot <laughs> because every Thursday or Friday my phone starts ringing right. and buzzing with cash out and I just thank God again for those young folks and some seasoned folks amen as well Pearl who still are using cash app amen 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 so Whatever means you like to give today, if you like to use Cash App, you can use dollar sign RCC the view, dollar sign RCC the view. Uh, if you want to do it the old fashioned way, greenbacks always work, checks also. So if you want to mail those in, you can mail them in to P.O. Box 613163, P.O. Box 613, P.O. Box 613163. It's on the screen. Again, we just ask you again. Give the Lord a blessing today. Amen. He's blessed you. So I want you to give back to him. Amen. I'm going to ask you to stand up. Sister Donna, if you come stand down here. I'm going to ask you, starting in the rear, Sister Roz, if you would lead them out on the back row, if you would just sort of guide them. Amen. Here you go, God. Amen, amen. If you would, just come around this way and just bring your gift. Amen. Diane. Diane. Gifts, bless down the givers, God.
Touch their hearts, touch their finances, God, whatever it is they need. Bless it in Jesus' name. We thank you. Let this be enough to accomplish your will as you've already said in your word that it will here at Riverview Community Church. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 This time, Minister Brown is going to come back. Um, Sister Deborah, get you a song together. Amen. Amen. After the preacher has preached. And just come on, sing. Amen. 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 Matter of fact, you can come now if you like. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, come on. Come on, Minister Brown. Amen. Amen. We thank God again that He has blessed us with friends who have all kinds of gifts and talents. Amen. Do me a favor. Stretch a hand up front toward Pastor Herbert Jackson. Amen. Say, God. Bless the preacher. Bless the Allow him to preach with power and simplicity and authority. Preach to me today. Pastor Jackson, we pray again that you would allow God to have his way with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
myself blessed to be in this place. Amen. Can I say that? Or in any place. Amen. And know it. Amen. Amen. So we'll give the Lord a hand of praise like you need it. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. I am honored today, man, to be uh, in this place. Thank God for Pastor Nelson. Amen. 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 So for him. Amen. We appreciate the invitation to come and to share with you. Amen. Up until last night, I thought we had a really wonderful friendship developing. Please, man. <laughs> until you put that young buckaroo up here preaching. I couldn't even sit down. He wouldn't allow me to sit. Every time I sat down, I just had to get back up. Amen. What a powerful, powerful word we heard on last night. Amen. And we thank you for being so late of the Lord that you invited him here. Amen. And that we were able to benefit from that invitation, all of us. Amen. Amen. What, a, what a powerful night it was. Amen. We thank God for you. And certainly, um, I got over it. <laughs> Amen. And, uh, I, still, I still count you as a friend. <laughs> Amen. I want to thank God for the minister, Brown. Yeah, yeah. My God. Last night she was just on fire like this again. Praise God. We appreciate you just being available to God. Amen. Just being available. A lot of people are wonderful. At least that's what they tell us, but they're never available. Amen. But we thank God for you. We really thank God for you. Amen. Amen. We thank God for all the ministers in the house. Amen. We certainly, amen. It's good for us to be here. It's good for us to be here for ourselves. It's good for us to be here to support Pastor Nelson today. Amen. Amen. Uh, I usually have Good Friday at uh, the River of Life, but he called me so early, I said, that's my out. <laughs> so we didn't do that this year. Amen. Praise God. But I am thankful that we got members of the River of Life here. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I, I am... By nature, amen, kind of a little bit long. Even though I'm going to work really hard today, not to be too long. All right, Preach, man. I can assure you this: when the Lord gets through, yeah, yeah. I'll be done. Yeah. All right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Let us pray, our Father and our God. We thank you so much, Lord, for just loving us the way you do. Yeah. We thank you, God, for in our effort to say anything beyond just thank you, Lord. We, we don't really know how to put words to it. But Father, we're just thankful. You've dealt with us, Lord, not after our, our mistakes, our weaknesses, God, but you've dealt with us, Lord, according to your love for us. So God, again, we just say thank you. Thank you for this place. Thank you for the power of your promise. Oh, God. We thank you, Lord, for your promise to be here assures us of the presence of your power is already here. So, Lord, have your way. Lord, to be glorified, we'll just be grateful. Speak to our hearts and our minds, God. Say to us what you want us to hear today. And I pray, God, you open our ears and our hearts and let them be open and receptive to all that you're speaking. In the sweet, precious, and strong name of Jesus, we do pray. Thank God and amen. Amen. Uh, I agonized quite a bit for um, what to preach about today. So I gave up on agonizing and I'm going to go through this and I'm certainly going to reach where I believe God would have me to stop by today. Amen. Amen. In 1 Samuel chapter 30, amen, there is a place. There is a place, amen, where we'll start. If you want to find that with me, amen, go to uh, chapter 1. I mean, 30, verse 1. Chapter 30, verse 1. 1 Samuel, chapter 30, verse 1. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 
And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag uh, and smitten Ziklag and burned it with fire and had taken the women captives that were therein they slew not any either great or small but carried them away and went on their way so David and his men came to the city behold it was burned with fire and their wives and their sons and daughters were taken captives then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voices and wept until they had no more power to weep and David's two wives were taken captives. Ahinoam, the Jezreelitess, and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Carmelite. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. Amen. And if you would just think that thought with me right there from verse 6. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. Amen. Amen. And beloved, I want to rest right there for just a moment. Amen. But oftentimes I think we live in a state of, 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 of confusion. Amen. I think those of us who... who uh, take a minute every now and then just to look at the Bible. The Bible has already, already told us some things. It said those who choose to live godly will suffer persecution. Yes. Sir. Amen. Something's going to happen. They ain't going to be comfortable. Are you with me? Yes. Amen. Uh, we understand because Jesus told us that they've done this to the green tree. You know what they're going to do to you. Right. Amen. Right. And still we operate sometimes, you know, in a space somewhere where, where we just feel like our lives Amen. I'm supposed to be void of any kind of trouble. Come on, say amen. Yes, amen. We, we, we all find ourselves there sometimes. We, we just feel like that uh, we ain't supposed to go through nothing. That's right. Amen. That's but let me tell you what, and, and I believe this with all my heart. Satan wants you to buy that lie when you first get saved. Amen. Amen. The reason he wants you to buy that lie when you first get saved because the first time that something doesn't go quite right, he wants you to blame God. He wants to start weakening that relationship before it gets a good start. Amen. And we got to understand, look, the God that we serve is able to deliver us no matter what it is. Amen. But we have to find ourselves, praise God, lifting up ourselves in the place of God right. and putting ourselves in the presence of God yes, and taking time to talk with God, read his word, amen, the love letter, amen. And, and, and so we have to understand that trouble is just a part of this walk, right. amen. And God has already told us he can fix it, but he just needs, you know what, y'all remember the old movie E.T.? Yeah. E.T. Call Home. Yeah. E.T. Call home. In other words, God wants us to pray. He wants us to just call home sometimes. Some of our voices God may not even know right now because He hasn't heard them in so long. Amen. And then we wonder why we're yet going through. Amen. Because we're not spending any time. With God. We got to put the time in. And then oftentimes we wonder how in the world could David be the apple of God's eye? And he stayed in trouble. David was a worshiper. Yes, David knew straight out when I messed up, I need to fess up and that right early. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And we walk in this cloud yeah. thinking that everything is just supposed to be hunky dory yeah. all the time. Right. And not only do we kind of reside there, but don't work in a group. Oh, you know, a lot of times when you work in a group, people just expect you to do it all. Amen. 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 <laughs> and don't be good at something. Because they feel like every time we get together, you're supposed to do that. 
they want it to be versatile to it and use all of the gifts that God has given you. Amen. They just want you to do it. Just do that. Amen. And that's not the only thing I'm good at. Amen. And sometimes when it doesn't work, amen, and, and Pastor, I know you already know this, but just let me run by that anyway. When we do well, uh -huh. look what we did. Right. Right. When it doesn't work out too good, the old pastor's idea. <laughs> we just did what pastor said. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Right. But we got to find ourselves just becoming one body. One. Body. one. Yes, yes, yes. And we've got to get in a position where when we speak, we speak with lots of volume because we speak as with one voice and we're all on the same page thinking the same thing about the same assignment and we're refusing to take down because the enemy is saying don't. We continue to rise up because God said we can. Praise God. And so you have to learn to encourage yourself in the Lord. Amen. We have to find ourselves hiding ourselves so we can have quiet time with the God of God. We got to find a way to get away from people, places, and things that hindering the environment that we're trying to create so that we can speak to God without distraction. Amen. Amen. And let me tell you, it won't be easy. Uh -huh. And the place may not be perfect. Yes, sir. But God sees Glory. invisible tears and he also hears unspoken prayers. Yeah. Yeah. He just want to have some time with us. God can do what he promised. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Sometimes God want to know, do you know what you need? Yeah. I heard your voice, but are we talking about the same thing? Amen. So here we are. Here we are, beloved. Here we are, beloved. You know, David been with his, his strong group. Amen. His best soldiers. Yeah. And they've been out and they've been successful. Uh-huh. However, uh, when they got back home or, or to headquarters, can I just say it that way? Yes, Amen. Because this was a traveling bunch. And maybe homes is a place they hadn't been in a while. All right. Amen. So when they got back to headquarters, it seemed like all the joy of winning was just sucked out from them. Right. Yes, sir. Right. Mm. Because their wives and their children are missing and, and, and headquarters have been buoyed up. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Amen. Buoyed. <laughs> yeah. Buoyed up. Yeah. Amen. And they cried until there was no more strength. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, every time I read that, I can remember the whoopings. <laughs> I got a bunch of them. <laughs> I, I had a problem with obedience. Amen. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember sometimes you know you hit them notes, you know, you know, like the ones you would but they were a little different. <laughs> the motivation was a little different. Yeah. You know, you way up there. And you can't get the rest of it <laughs> to come out. Yes, sir. And no more strength to cry. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And in addition to this, in, in addition to this, now they want to kill the leader yeah. who just carried us successfully yes, through another campaign. Yeah. Why? It was David's fault. Mm. This is the problem that I have with that. Everybody else had at least one wife and some children. Right. David had two and they gonna say he don't care. Yeah. Mm. Amen. And they want to blame David. Yes, sir. Amen. And David does what's seems to be so hard for us because we always want to offer up to God our plan. Wow. And God has a plan and his plan will always work, but we yeah. got to talk to him yeah. about what he will. You know, so I need to know what, what, if God wants me to turn right, I need to have heard him say that. Right. Amen. And I can't if I don't spend time with him. Right. You hear me? Amen. So, 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 so I, I got to, I got to spend some time, amen, with God so I know what I'm doing. In the midst of my discomfort, I still got to find a way to pray. Yes, in, in the midst of my hard time, I still got to find a way to rejoice. Somehow or another, yeah. I have got to hear God say, hold on, son. Yeah, yeah, sir. 
It ain't as far as you thought it was. Amen. Stand up straight. Amen. Walk with your head high. Amen. Be good with who you are. You don't need man's approval. You don't need man to say that you're all that. And God said you're enough. Amen. Amen. So David finds him the place and, 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 and he asks for, amen, the prayer garment and what have you, those things that go along with that. And he goes and he does what we all should do, which is he went to God in prayer. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. He, he, he went into the presence of the Lord and inquired of the Lord. Amen. Now, uh, as we look at this, beloved, let's think about this. They, 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 they've already blamed David. Uh -huh. David had his own, his, his own time, amen, uh, uh, dealing with the hardship of this matter because he's carrying the burden of his eyes. Uh -huh. But he's also carrying David's burden as well. Yeah. Right. Amen. Both of his wives are missing. Yeah. Amen. It doesn't say anything about his children, but it says, I mean, it, there's a reason for it to pull out for us. Uh -huh. That his two wives were missing. We 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 got to have a reason to understand, amen, that David is dealing not with just his problem and their problem, but it's a community problem right now. Amen. And so David goes and inquires to the power that he knows that's able to do what needs to be done. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And I like this. Yes, sir. Amen. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue this truth? Shall I overtake them? Goodness gracious. And the Lord immediately answered and said, Yeah, don't just go after them. Amen. Here it is, right here in verse 8. He said, Pursue, for thou shalt overtake them, and without fail recover all. Now, beloved, I'm just saying, when God got favor on your life, Amen. That which looks impossible, amen, ought to, it, it, it ought to start turning flips in front of you. Amen. Not you turning flips in front of it, but it ought to be turning flips in front of it. Because once we see God flipping the script in this thing, I know it looks like the Amalekites won, but son, you go and you take care of the business. I'm with you. And what needs to be done, we'll get it done and we'll get it done together. Amen. And so David prayed God, tell the, the men, come on y'all, wrap it up, we roll it. All right. Amen. Yeah. And they go and pursue. Yes. Amen. What I love about God is he won't make you have to wander around for what the right thing is. Yeah. Yes, sir. If you start talking to God, he'll help you to know what's right. Amen. At the precise moment that you need to know it. Yes, sir. Amen. David and, and the guys are pursuing them. And all of a sudden, to them all of a sudden, God's plan begins to unfold. Yes, sir. One of the enemies guys got sick. Mm. You better come on down. Yeah. Lord have mercy. And the leader just threw him out. All right. Find you somewhere else. Just sick, sick. <laughs> Amen. He wasn't dead. Because that wasn't God's plan. Amen. What are you saying? I'm saying here's knowledge and help. Yes, sir. Yeah. Laying in the road. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. On, and they picked the man up. And, and you know, David's a warrior. But God done made him right now. Don't worry. Let's do compassion. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Freaks, man. Don't take him out. Take him up, son. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's good. That's good. Amen. Yeah. And the man is asked. Where's the rest of the group? He said, I'm hungry. David said, fix the brother something to eat. Yeah, all right. And all of a sudden, he ain't even, you know, he ain't even want to enter now. Fix the brother something to eat. Yeah, all right. Amen. They feed him, and they start to question thing again. And he says, I'm going to need to get something out of this. Ain't God all right? Yes, sir. Amen. Because what he wants is not going to be more than what they're able to give. Mic check, mic check. Amen, amen. Praise God. He said, look, this is what I want. I need y'all to feed me. And please don't turn me back into them rascals. Are you there? 
no matter how hard that I'm suggesting is, God will not only give you favor, yes, sir. but he'll teach you how to give favor. Yes. Amen. We, we, we ought to be able to encourage ourselves in the Lord because of all that we've seen him do. And, and, and you know when the Bible tells us that we ought to mourn with those that mourn and rejoice with those that rejoice, sometimes you ain't got to be shouted about your testimony. Amen. You need to be shouted about the testimony that you've seen. Every time God works a miracle, it reminds me that I can get one too. Amen. Look, I, I, I know I'm like the rest of us. We're so impatient with God. It's just unbelievable. But even while we're waiting, God is still doing something. God is never, ever, amen, just sitting around with his leg crossed, doing nothing. Everything that concerns us concerns him. And he is working on our case, whether we see it or not. We don't have to see it sometimes. You got to believe it before you can see it. And after you believe it and you see it, beloved, great things begin to unfold. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 So here, the man that was discarded. I know y'all know this next thing because I've heard y'all say it before. One man's treasure. One man's trash. There's another man's treasure. Amen. They thought he had no worth. But the man had everything that David and his crew needed. Amen. To go get the women and the children. Amen. David had to keep teaching. Mm -hmm. Pastor, we can never stop teaching. Right. Amen. It don't matter if we got five or five hundred. Right. Yeah. Bishop Pastor told me one time, he said, son, it takes the same anointing to preach the six as it does the six hundred. Yeah. And every since then, I don't care if they invite me to a storefront. I don't care if they invite me to a converted duplex. If they invite me to pre preaching, is what I'm going to do. I try to go on and put my disclaimer out front because I might get a little long because I can't quit till he quit. And what he gives me, I'm going to have to share or I'm going to have to be guilty. I ain't going to be guilty about that. So here we are. The useless man turns out to be an absolute asset to David and his crew. Yes, sir. They go down and they take care of the business. Watch this now, because you know we just, you know, we crazy about yours, amen. And, and, and so they go down and they take care of the business. And the strong guys come back because everybody didn't go on this particular assignment, amen. They come back and they say to David, "We ain't gonna give them guys, them, them weak jokers over there. We ain't gonna give them nothing." And David, David stood up and said. I don't know where you got that kind of thinking from. Y'all don't mind if I Jacksonized a little bit right here. Do you? I don't know. I don't know where y'all got that kind of thinking from. But I don't see things that way. All right. As long as these guys were in good shape, they were a part of the six hundred strong men. Yeah, right. And because they're having issues right now, they can't do what they used to do. We're not going to take them out yeah. of sharing, Amen, the booty from this year assignment. What we have, we are going to share. Yes, and guess what? That became the rule. Yes, and not the exception anymore. All right. What are you saying, preacher? I'm saying every time we strike out to have a project, somebody ain't going to do right. Mike, Jack, Mike, 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 Jack. Amen. Somebody ain't going to cooperate. But that doesn't stop God. And God will remind us as we go. I can do the same with plenty yeah. as I can with a few. I'm not the limited one. And I'm trying to get you to walk like you're not the limited one. I want you to walk like you understand that I have what you need and what you need I have. And if you need it, I got it. And if I got it, I'll give it. Praise God. Amen. So here we are, beloved. We understand, we understand, amen, that David had to look beyond his shortcomings and encourage himself in the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Praise God. Amen. Most of the time, beloved, what we really need in our lives is just balance. Yeah. Come on. Amen. We just need a little balance. Amen. Yeah, trouble uh, can be a little uncomfortable. Amen. But then there's a wonderful thing that God told us weeping. 
endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. And God is no respect to a person. Amen. Paul tells us about his own battle. Yeah. Amen. With his impatience with God. He said, I asked God three times, just move one thing. I've been all over everywhere for God. I've been locked up. I've been tied up. I've been beat up. I've been thrown out of a window in a basket. I've been hurt by my own countrymen. I've done more work than all the disciples, the apostles before me. And I asked God to move this one thing. And God said to me, you know, I know you want the thing moved, but that's not my will for you. But what I have is even better. Yes, sir. And he said, Paul, I want you to always remember no assignment from me will take you to a place where grace won't meet you. Amen. So he says to Paul, my grace is sufficient. Now what I love about that is when God moves, you ought to move too. Paul said, now I take pleasure in my infirmities, in my tough places, in my weakness. When I'm weak, he's strong. And, and when I'm trying to sit down, he's standing up. And when I want to give up, he said, get up. And so we just got to get to where we walk in blessed assurance. Why should I do that, preacher? Well, the Bible said, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but my God shall deliver them out of them all. Amen. Be encouraged and encourage yourself in the Lord, y'all. Amen. We got to understand that God knows all about what we need even before we need it. I love Psalm 23 because it has so many personal pronouns. Amen. So when I'm reading Psalm 23, amen, I'm not worried about everything I don't have. I am excited. Amen. Above measure because of everything that the psalmist said I could have. In Psalm 27, amen, the psalmist told me that God is my light and my salvation. Amen. When I move on, I see in Isaiah 54, the Lord said, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Hallelujah. In Philippians 4, 19, the Bible tells me, and my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches in glory. I fell in love with that because I understand that God is not hoping that Wall Street has a good day. I wish I had some help in here. He said he'll fix my need according to his riches and glory. Romans 8, 35 told me in the midst of everything else that's going on that I'm more than a conqueror. I'm having a problem with that because sometimes I feel like the only failure in the whole wide world. Hallelujah. But I see in Romans 8, 28 where the Lord tells me stop pouting like a child because I'm going to make all things work together for your good. Hallelujah. Amen. Over in Philippians 4 and 13, I found out that God has loaned me a power source. And now I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I don't know about you, church, but I've been through some things. However, God told me, amen, in 1 Peter 5 and 10, after, after you suffer a while, I'll establish Yes, I'm okay with that. Yes, sir. 
Yeah. As long as he's still working, I feel good. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. As long as he keeps telling me I can, yeah. I don't have a right to say I can. Yeah. Every time I say it's too far, he tells me it's right around the next corner. I can't argue with him. Amen. Why? Because the Bible tells me that God is with me because he loves me. The Bible says that uh, God so loved the world. I mean all of us. The Bible told me that it's not God's will that any should perish. Amen. That means all of us. He wants everybody to get saved. The invitation is out there. A lot of people are not going to RSVP. But the invitation is that It's been extended. So we can't blame God. Amen. What we have to do as a church is we have to understand what our job is. It don't matter what they look like, what they smell like, how bad they stagger. Amen. They can't talk. They can't see. They can't write. They can't read. Still, they need the voice of God coming from the people of God. They need to feel the love of God. Coming from the people of God, they need to feel encouraged. They need to feel like they're somebody. Because if they're somebody to God, then they have to be somebody to us. Hallelujah, church. Amen. So what are you saying, preacher? I'm saying daily, we got to tell God, teach me how to reach hurting men. Tell God, I understand their pain. Teach me how to minister to their pain. Understand what they're going through. I've been there, Daddy. You know it. I got a trophy and a couple of t-shirts all the times that I put my hand. And you just teach me how to say to them, "You can make it." Hallelujah! Tell them to rise up, rise up and walk because God loves us. Hallelujah. I believe I'll leave you alone now. Amen. That's the second one right there. Amen. But I'm in love with God, especially this time of year, because I just love the Easter story. Amen. I love to see the little children just get up and tell that one line Easter sermon. Amen. Praise God. I would be an angry if I didn't talk about my big brother for just a minute. Amen. Let me tell you how I want you to understand this about me. Living, he loved me. Dying, he saved me. Buried, he carried my sins far away. Rising, he justified me. Freed me forever. One day he's coming back. What a glorious day. I was sinking deep in sin. Far from the peaceful shore. Very deeply stained within, seeking to ride no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry. From the waters he lifted me. Now saved, so saved, safe am I. When darkness veils his lovely face, I rest on his unchanging grace through every high and stormy day my anger is tucked beneath the hallelujah on Christ the solid rock I stand all other ground is sinking sand can I bother David one more time when my mind is overwhelmed They say he's the suffering servant. In Luke, they say he's the son of man, feeling what we're feeling. In John, they say he's the son of God. In Acts, they say he's the savior of the world. In Romans, they say he's the righteousness of God. In 1 Corinthians, they say he's the rock that followed Israel. In 2 Corinthians, they say he is the triumphant one, giving victory to his own. In Galatians, he's our liberty. He set us free. In Ephesians, he's the head of the church. In Philippians, he's our joy. In Colossians, hallelujah, he's our completeness. In 1 Thessalonians, he's our hope. In 2 
Thessalonians, he's our glory. In 1 Timothy, he's our faith. In 2 Timothy, he's our stability. I like this one. In Titus, he's our reason for serving. Hallelujah. In belief, my God, he's the benefactor. In Hebrews, he's our perfection. Come on here, somebody. In James, he's the power behind our faith. In 1 Peter, he's our example. In 2 Peter, he's our purity. In John, again, 1 John, he's our life. In 2 John, he's our pattern. In 3 John, he's our motivation. In Jude, he's the foundation for our faith. In Revelation, he's our coming king. Hallelujah. But on Calvary, he was our hope. He was our deliverer. He was hung up for our hang up.
and it'll be a little easier to share with them. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And I think that I won't be wrong with this. There's not a soul in the room that God hasn't done something truly magnificent for us. Amen. So we got that many people that should be on the field trying to convince folk God ain't through with you. Amen. God is not through with you. Amen. So beloved, let's ask God to help us to understand our ministry and teach us how to do it right. For there's a hurting world out there. And we know what we've been there. So let's reach out and try to help them to reach out. God is waiting. God bless you. God keep you. Amen. Come on, say amen. folks here who I feel led to pray for you. You need encouragement. And the preacher has preached his heart out today telling us again that our God loves us so much. He didn't want to see us end up in hell. He didn't want to see us destroy. He didn't want to see us walking around with our head down and our hearts broken when he's given his very best to save us and to heal us and to deliver us to cause us to walk in joy. Not that we walk around with a smile always and we're always laughing, but we are encouraged, knowing again that it ain't over. Our God is sitting on the throne. And so today, if that's you, my brother, my sister, you want special prayers. We end this revival. I 
I just, I just want you, just raise your hand. Just raise up your hand. Lift up your hand. That's you. Thank you. God, we come to you right now. We just say, yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you for loving us so much, God, that you have given us this wonderful opportunity to be your sons and daughters. God, we thank you that out on a hill called Calvary, you fixed it, you set the stage, you created a way for us to be able to come back to you. Yes, Lord. You provided us encouragement. Yeah, you lifted up your son. You allowed them to lift up your son. That again, we might lift up our heads. That our hearts may be fixed and healed. We thank you that it's through your darling son, Jesus, that we now have this right to come to you. And so, God, I pray right now for my brother and my sister. God, who's going through a time that they can't even explain. They can't even express what they're feeling right now. God, but I pray right now that you will begin right this moment filling them with your Holy Spirit. Go down deep in their bellies, God, that they would feel your presence, God. They would know again that your spirit is walking right there inside of them, moving on the inside of them, God. Stirring them up, God. I pray whatever it is that is causing them, God, again, to doubt or to be discouraged, God. I pray right now that you would heal them from the inside out. Yes, Lord. God, do it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God, go places that our words can't go. Go places that our moans and groans can't go. Go places deep down in us. Do for us, God. But you only can do. God, when we walk out the door today, God, help us to go out with our heads up, God. Help us to go out with, with our hearts again, encouraged and inspired again. Yes, Lord. The trouble may come again, but we ain't gonna give up. We won't turn. We won't throw in the tile. But God will keep on walking. Yes, Holding to your hands. Yes, yes, Do it now, God. God, again, we thank you for each person that's under the sound of my voice and those who have come. We ask you right now to bless Pastor Jackson. Bless River of Life, God. Continue again to give them what they need. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, we thank you for what you've done here at The View this week, God. We thank you for how you've been speaking to us. God, I know I've been helped. I've been helped by every message, every word that has been preached. And God, I know again, there are needs even at The View. Some things that we are dealing with, God. And I thank you for sending your word to address them this week, God. Now, God, again, we receive your word. And we believe your word. We're going to trust your word. And we're going to stand on your word. Help us, God, right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. The people of God say amen. 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 Listen, again, we're so grateful for each of you who have tuned in and those of you who are watching. We thank you again for those who are present. Thank you, Pastor Jackson, again, for allowing God to use you. That's what I love about your spirit is that you make no apologies. You are you. You're going to be you. And you're going to preach the way you preach. That's all God wants us to do. And you'll be back. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I want some folks that's real around me. I, I don't know the circle of friends who flies. Faith. Yeah. I want some real folks. We'll tell it like a T.I. is, as they say. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. God bless you. First Lady Jackson, thank you so much. God bless you. Life, thank you so much. We love all of you. We, again, are so grateful to have you. Again, as we go down from this place, whenever your presence, God, be with us. Stand by us. We give you glory and honor until we meet again. Remember, we walk by faith yeah. and not by sight. Yeah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Go in peace. God bless you. Go to somebody's church on Sunday morning. Amen. 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 God bless you.